Hi guys, welcome to my channel Vinyl Beauty, welcome back, I'm Debbie if you don't know me and for today's video we're going to be doing another one of my album art inspired looks. Now if you've not been here before, I take an album from my vinyl collection, I'm a huge vinyl collector, I've got quite a lot of music from all periods of, of time really and all different types of music but the artwork on, on these albums is just so interesting and just so inspiring to me. So I had this idea, I've done I think two or three of these already and I plan to make it a bit more of a series on my channel where I'll take the album as inspiration and it might be the colours on the album or it might be the period of time in which it's set and base a makeup look around it. Now for today we're going to be doing the early 80s and we're going to be basing it around this album which is Visage and the front man for Visage of course was Steve Strange and we're going to be looking at the early 80s Blitz Kids kind of makeup, so very new romantic inspired. So we're not going to be doing a, a black and grey kind of look here, we're going to be doing something very colourful because the makeup of that time was very colourful indeed. So this is why I'm kind of dressed a little bit kind of 80s like with my hair up as I have now because this is how I used to wear it at that time. So if you want to see a bit of a creative look come together then please keep on watching. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're going to be doing a full face of makeup today because I wanted to do contour quite structured for this look and I'm going to attempt to do black eyebrows as well, <laughs> pray for me, that could be fun. But we're going to start just with my normal foundation, the beautifully matte light, still got a little bit left, those that watched last week's video thought I wouldn't get any more out of this but I've got a little bit more to go so we're going to finish that up. I wanted a white base kind of foundation for this really because the makeup was very light and bright but we're going to use a, a white concealer to highlight the various points of my face where I think I could do with being a bit whiter. So this makeup period of the early 80s, so probably 80 to 81, I was only very young at the time, I don't think I was probably wearing makeup then but I was always very inspired by by this period and growing up in the 80s we didn't have the makeup products that we have today so I won't be doing things exactly as it would have been done then but one of the things that I remember most about 80s makeup was that it was very colourful it was pretty structured you didn't have lashes back then but you had lots of contour but it was done with blush and you guys, if you've been here before, you know how much I love blush, so we're going to be doing some blushy contour today. So, I think I'm going to do a couple of layers of this foundation, because as I say, I want to try and give myself as much of a, a matte base and as white as I can as well, for this blush to really sing on top of. So the idea for this video came about because me and my best friend for my birthday, which has been and gone now, I never like to say when my birthday is, but it was early March, but she bought tickets for me to go and see Calling Planet Earth, which is a tribute band to new romantic music. Now, you just don't find that because everybody does like cheesy 80s, like there's a lot of bands doing that, but the new romantic period, so Duran Duran, Spandau Ballet, OMD, Tears for Fears, ABC, Visage, Yazoo, all of that kind of music, Heaven 17, oh I loved Heaven 17, but all of that kind of music was in this show and it was just incredible. They had a female saxophonist and she had these like skin tight leopard leggings on and over the knee boots and her hair done very much like this. So I thought I'd, I'd do my hair how I used to do it in the early 80s, probably about circa 1984, Debbie, you're looking at now. But yeah, I had such a good time and it just inspired me totally to do this kind of look for this video. So to lighten up under my eyes, we're going to go in with a KVD Locket Concealer and this one's in, I think it's called White Out, yeah, White Out. Because all of my concealers are the same colour as my foundation and I want a really bright under eye. So I'm going to use this to create that. I'm just going to mash that into my skin with this brush. Oh, 
that's not as full coverage of a concealer as I thought it was, but we'll get a very nice brightening effect under the eyes with this one. I never use this as concealer, normally this is normally as an eye base for me, so wasn't sure if it was going to work. Probably need a couple of coats just to get it opaque enough. Let's put in a bit more of that on. Yeah, it was amazing at this gig how many of the lyrics of these songs that I could remember. And I think the reason why is because they were quite simple songs, but they just had like an incredible energy and electricity about them. And honestly, just going out again, I haven't been out like on a night out like that for well i think i put it in my instagram post if you follow me on instagram you will have seen a little bit about this i don't think i've been out like on a night out for two years since the pandemic started and i hadn't realized how much i'd missed it until i was out i almost didn't want to go when my friend said about getting the tickets and i'm just so glad i did i'm gonna look crazy before i look normal because i'm gonna do some other things as well i wanted to do a bit of a cream contour to go under the blush contour that i'm going to do and i'm going to use this it's revolutions fast base foundation this one's in the shade f11 so that i can make it as a contour shade so i'm just going to might be a bit too warm as a contour i could do with a really really good one of these in like a bit more of a fawny sort of colour. I know Anastasia do one, that's on my wish list. But yeah, I just wanted to just start getting a little bit of definition to my cheeks before we start with the blush. And I think I'll do the blush before we do the eye look. But that's just given me a little bit of shaping to the face to start off the, the look. So that could have done with being a lot greyer in tone but it'll do now i'm just going to set that down with my translucent kvd powder just set under my eyes there but doing a nice white under eye will really make this blush stand out and then i'm just using whatever is left on the brush just to, to powder everywhere else now i'm going to use my contour book from lunatic labs this one here just to create a little bit of a contour shape. And we're gonna use, I think this one to, to do it with. And that'll bring that bit of grayness in that I'm looking for on that contour. Just really want to make a really sharp, defined cheek. And as I say, we are gonna go in with blush as well. I didn't do makeup like this for the gig. I did wore something quite ordinary and I wish I had now. There was a few people dressed up a little bit. But what amazed me the most was just seeing so many people having such a good time. There was no masks on. It Honestly, it just felt like going back in time to, to the 80s and being a bit carefree for the night. And oh, it was just wonderful, I can't tell you. Right. Yeah, we've got quite a strong contour going on now, which is really what I was looking for. Also, I want to contour down my nose as well, and we're going to use that same powder from the Lunatics Labs. Just on the bridge of my nose, on the side of my nose here. This is not going to be a subtle look. I really want to chisel my features definitely do with a cream contour for this that would have been the right colour that would have been a lot easier can I put that on my nose as well wouldn't have done this step in the 80s but I really wanted to as I say get a angular shape to my face I've got a bit of a strange bump in my nose so it always looks a bit odd when I do it all right i'm going to use soft ochre paint pop just on my lids just to cover the redness i've got quite a lot of redness there and let that set down a bit and then i'll do the brows so we're just trying to create a little bit of a canvas there but i am going to be using some pencils as bases so i don't need too much of that i just wanted to give me a chance to be able to cover that redness 
Okay, so now we need to do brows. Now, normally for my brows, I use the Linda Harburg Infinity Palette and I go in with Cigar and Fornax, but we're gonna mainly use Fornax, the black here. And brows for this new romantic period were quite structured. So we're gonna kind of do an angle up and then a sharp down, that's the plan. So I'm gonna take that underneath the brow first. Start getting the shape down. And then I want a tail off at the end. Swap into the Sigma small angle brush. I think that might be easier. That's the kind of shape I want. So I'm just going to whiz through the process of creating this brow and I'll just set that to a bit of music till we have the brows done. So we want a very angular shape like that. Just gonna see if I can repeat that on the other eye. Now 80s brows came quite close to the nose or particularly for this kind of time period. So it's fine if we come a bit further in. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just bring them a little bit closer to my nose. I like this brow, this one's not going quite so well. Okay, so that's kind of the brow I was looking for. Really strong, really structured. So now I've got the brows on, I think we'll do the blush next. So there's no such thing as too much blush in the 80s, so we're gonna have lots and lots of blush going on. And for blush, we're gonna use the Pat McGrath blush in the shade Love Struck, because it's a beautiful pink. And incidentally, I don't know if you guys know this, but Pat McGrath's from Northampton, it's the town about 10 miles away from where I live and she used to take the train to London to the Blitz Club and was very influenced by the makeup of that time and she used to follow Steve Strange and Boy George from club to club. It's quite fitting that I'm using a, a Pat McGrath blush for this look. So there was a lot of blush sort of going round onto the temples as well in that time so we're going to do that as well. So we're basically creating almost like a, a circle. We're going onto the temples and then around. And we're not at all looking for settle, as I say, so we can take it right into the hairline. But that's why we wanted that white under the eye, so it really makes the, the blush stand out. If I had a white foundation, I would have, would have used that today. But we're looking for a really angular so coming down like that not too far and then as i say liberally going up into the hairline and the temples so keeping everything can an angle almost so today after i've done this we're going to the cinema to see death on the nile <laughs> i said to my husband do you mind if i go in full 80s new romantic makeup and he said well you're not going to take it off are you <laughs> well, i think i might <laughs> that's sort of how crazy it gets but yeah i really want this to to stand out i'm only taking a little bit at a time really concentrating it in one straight line and one up line so the eyeshadow colours of this period were very strong, very bright. We had reds and oranges and pinks and maybe blue on the lower lash lines. We're going to incorporate some of that. We're going to use the Super Beauty Remake Rainbows Jealous because there's a lot of the sort of colours I want in that. We're also going to be using a pigment by MAC as well, which is Copper Sparkle. But before we do that, I want to get quite a structured look at the front of my eyes. So, for 80s makeup like this, it was all about angular shapes, as I say. So we're wanting to kind of make a shape here. So 
that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this pencil to let soft this pencil for what we're going to use this as kind of like a eyeshadow base but in this this area here. It's got a Linda Halberg 303 so we could just blend that out a little bit. But I just wanted to give us a really strong base for the red and as I say to make it a very angular shape. Now it looks in the 80s, they weren't very blended so happy days for me because I'm not very good at blending as you guys know. So we're not going to worry about blending it too much. I really wanted to just make, as I say, an angular shape there. It's going to do the same on the other eye. So are you guys from this era, are you, I know a lot of you are very much my kind of age where you're into new romantic bands. My favourite I think of the time was Heaven 17, oh, Temptation, I love that song, or maybe Human League, because I love the Dare album. I don't own that on vinyl anymore, I used to have it, that's one I need to re-add to my collection. But I loved Yazoo as well, I don't know if they could be considered like new romantic era really, but definitely around that time. But the sort of music they played at this night, as I say, we had Ultravox Vienna. Do you remember that, guys? Oh, God, I used to love that so much. And Yazoo's Don't Go, that got everybody up dancing. That was fairly near to the start. And this thing wasn't really a gig. It was in our local theatre, but everybody was stood up and dancing. So it's got me to realise I need to go out more again. I didn't realise how much I'd missed it. Alright, I think that's about as symmetrical as I'm going to get it. So we're going to pack some red eyeshadow over that. So we're going to use the red from the Suva Beauty palette. It's just called red. And I'm just going to use this same brush that I've been using. Just paint that over the top. Just really to set that pencil down. Really make it nice and strong. I know from watching interviews with Pat McGrath, or I think she did the Desert Island Discs, where she was talking about the music of her past. She used to use lipstick on her eyes to create a lot of these looks because we wouldn't have had the products that we have now. And liquid lipstick works really well as an eye base anyway. For my eyelids, I'm going to pack some orange. I'm just going to use the orange from the Suva palette. I wanted a lot lighter of a colour than the red, but I wanted something on my eyelids. And this is largely going to be a matte look. So I'm just packing that pretty much over my entire eyelid. I'm kind of swooping it upwards as well. So we start to create a bit of a wing shape. And we're going to go right through the brow area and out meet up with that blush. I want to keep things very structured. So we're not doing anything on the lower lash line at the moment. As I say, we're taking that through the brow. This is where having no brows at all would be quite useful, I think. Although the brows were a a statement part of the look. Starting to get that kind of feel that I'm looking for. On this outer corner I'm going to use some of the pigment. I just wanted to create the shape that we're looking for here. I'm just using a packing brush because as I say 
want maximum colour but I don't want it to be too blended, it's almost like painting with watercolour. So this red and orange meat, I am trying to get a little bit of a blend now, I think that will look a bit better. Just using the tip of this packing brush just to help me blend that pencil into the shadow there. And just make sure, as I say, it carries on up through the brow. Okay, now I want to add a little touch of pink to the look. So we're going to use Bellyache from the Lightly Makeup Ugly palette, this one here. Another matte pink shadow, any matte that you've got will do the job. And we're just going to pack some of that, just very close to the brow there. I'm using a packing brush again, but just like sweeping motions. But I want to take that all the way up to my brow. Now I want to get a bit of definition into my crease. I'm going to use Black Core by Linda Halberg. Any black kind of gel pencil will do. Just define a little bit in this crease area. And then we just need to blend that out over the top of the shadows. Just wanted to really give us a little bit more definition there. And just bring that out just slightly at the edge. I'm using the pencil because it really gives you a black black without the black taking over and going all over your lids because if you use black eyeshadow you've got to be very careful to fall down going to swap that to the brush that we used for the red eyeshadow. Yeah, that's looking cool I think. Okay, just flicking that out just slightly at the outer corner. I'm going to use that same pencil in my waterline. Okay, next up I want to add a bit of an extended wing in the inner corner and I'm going to use Ella Masker's gel liner to do that. I have a very steady hand and I can't talk while I do this so we will add that and then we'll carry on. So I'm going to use that gel liner on my upper lid to create a wing. Something along those lines, just repeat that on the other eye. Right, just to soften this line here where we've got the liner kind of stopping, I'm just going to use a bit more of the orange from the Suva palette. Just over the top of that. Make it look a little bit less harsh there. Okay, now we're going to go in with the pigment from MAC. Copper sparkle, so any coppery pigment will do the job. I'm going to use a flat packing brush with that pigment, load it onto the brush, and then we're going to press that in this outer corner. We're going to take that right up through the brow, pressing it on first so that I don't get too much fallout and then spreading it out so that we've got just a little bit of, as I say, sparkle. Just winging that off into that blush that we've got going on in the temples. So now for the lower lash line I want to add some blue into the look. So we're going to use the Spectral palette from LH Cosmetics. There's a beautiful blue shade in here which is abstract, we're going to use that. 
So I've loaded that up on kind of a pencil brush and I'm going to run that along the lower lash line. Keeping that quite close to the, the black pencil that we've already got in the waterline. Bring it under that shape as well that we've got going on at the front. Okay guys, so that's the look to this point. Just gonna hop off camera for mascara and a lip and I'll be back with you to show you the final look and to wrap up the video. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and I think I've captured that 1980s Blitz Kids New Romantic kind of style of makeup. And yeah, it's not perfect, but the makeup then just wasn't perfect either. It was all about the angular shapes and yeah, the structured kind of contour and yeah. I think it at least brings back a little bit of a memory of that time in any case. It's so much fun to do these album art inspired videos and I just hope you're enjoying seeing them come together just as much as I'm enjoying making them. But for my lipstick today, I knew I wanted a red lip and I've gone in with 24 7 liner from Urban Decay in the shade 714 because I wanted a base for the, the glossy red lip don't have a clear gloss in my collection because I'm not really a gloss girl but as I say I wanted it a little bit glossy so I've gone in with LH Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Bullseye because these have got quite a glossy sheen to them. So yeah that is the finished look. If you're new to my channel this is the kind of thing that I do on this channel nowadays. I'm not about buying all of the new makeup so if you wanted to recreate something like this and why wouldn't you because yeah it's the sort of thing you can rock down the local multiplex which is what I'm going to do today the only thing you really need is a rainbow palette I'm sure you've got one of those in your collection and maybe a sparkly pastel blue but you know, this palette, the Spectral palette, you don't need it, but I bought this one three or four years ago and I'm still using it. So that's what I wanna say. The makeup that's in your collection is awesome. You don't need as much as you think and you can create amazing looks with what you have. If that sounds like the sort of thing that, that you're looking for, you wanna get some use out of your makeup, you want maybe some inspiration of looks you're not seeing on other people's channels, then this could be the place for you. But just everybody, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. It is so much appreciated. I hope you're having a lovely day or a night wherever you are. Keep safe and well, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.